Punch Man Bad Toe. This is NPC Anchor number 12392 and this is NPC News. I am so upset. I am literally shaking. I can't even enjoy my soil at I'm shaking so bad. Can you believe what the racist right is up to now? I cannot even right now. I want to scream. These journalists, if you can even call them that, they do not get their 4 a.m. talking points from the CIA. Anyway, these political hacks are making the left look bad by reporting what they are doing. Sure, these things the left are doing are going to sound bad when said out loud. Even more reason for these reporters to not mention them. It is easy, just stick to the script. Orange man bad. Take this story for instance, huge revelation. Deep state lied. Investigated Trump campaign with four separate individual probes all with separate code names. I need to go to my mental safe space. These reporters are breaking protocol. I am going to have to throw it over to NPC anchor number 72531 to take over while I deep breath. Thank you NPC anchor number 12392. And it is like we all know. Women are stronger than men. How many FBI investigations were there related to Trump? Based on evidence hyphen one enterprise investigation and at least four separate investigations, the individual investigations were likely set up against Carter Page, Papadopoulos, General Flynn and Monafort. This is why they went after these four with a vengeance after the election, to try and find anything on them so their illegal spying would not appear so illegal. Sorry to interrupt and I am not trying to mansplain but I mean why do they have to point out that their illegal spying was illegal orange man bad focus on that. Wigmel NPC anchor number 12392. Don't interrupt me. Below is a thread from Nick Wall on Twitter that presents a plausible analysis on the number of investigations that the FBI had on President Trump. All based on a fake dossier. Based on reports to date there is enough evidence to shut down the Mueller investigation and have the Obama foreign left goons in the FBI and DOJ arrested and in jail. Goons. Goons. Such offensive language. This is why we need to abolish the First Amendment. The Twitter feed is long. But it does do a good job at speculating at what was going on, especially with a lot of the information still classified. I will leave a link below so you can read the entire thread. But I will leave you with this last bit. The entire Obama administration was corrupt and criminal in their actions. They spied on the Trump campaign to give them an advantage in the election. And to possibly find dirt that the Hillary administration could indict him on. When Trump did the impossible hyphen and won the election hyphen they put in place their insurance policy hyphen to accuse and indict President Trump on make-believe. Charges of being a Russian puppet created by the Hillary team in hopes of getting rid of the one person who could out all their previous crimes. These are very bad people. Need I point out how racist it is for these people to point out the crimes that a president of color committed? I think I speak for everyone when I say, not my president. 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 I must apologize. Orange Man caused NPC anchor number 12,392 and NPC anchor number 72,531 to malfunction and explode. When will this hate and carnage end? For NPC News, this is NPC anchor number 43,025 signing off. I'm not finished, fake news. There's gonna be a whole bunch of things we don't tell, Mrs. Clinton. Don't mess with Texas. Frankly, I love women. <laughs> Oh look, I got the mayor's drink by mistake. <laughs> no ice. And changes her hair. And it needs to be government man!